my name is Michelle Reagan. I am one of the zookeepers here at the Kansas City Zoo. Um, I do take care of the gorillas. Um, it is one of our routines on, uh, for our team. Uh, so starting over to the left, uh, these are our females. Um, so all the way over there, who's kind of standing up by the rock, is Makari. Uh, she is 33. Um, and sitting on the rock there is Masika, that is her daughter. Uh, Masika is now five. Um, over in the middle of the exhibit is uh, Makena. Makena is 21. Um, she's kind of in charge of the troop right now. Um, so she kind of, uh, what she says goes. Um, you can kind of tell her apart from the others. She has what I like to call mutton chops on the sides of her face. Her face is really fluffy on the sides. Um, so that's one way you can kind of tell her apart. Um, and then our last but not least, our final girl um, is Tufani. Uh, Tufani is 28. Um, she has the highest crest, so that point on the top of their head is called a crest. Um, and she also has the largest belly because she likes to eat a lot. Um, these guys are Western Lowland Gorillas um, and they are mainly vegetarians. Um, they eat pretty much everything you see out here on the exhibit. They can eat uh, the grass, the leaves, they can even eat the bark off of the trees. Um, we give them here uh, a bunch of lettuce, so you can see they're kind of snacking on lettuce. Um, they also, we give them some air popped popcorn in the morning um, to help them kind of with their foraging behavior, searching for food. Um, they also each get uh, their own container of fruits and vegetables every day. Um, these guys eat quite a bit. They eat um, about six to eight times a day. Um, so they'll kind of forage and eat, and then they'll take a nap, and then they'll forage and eat some more and take another nap. Um, so that's kind of the life of a gorilla. Um, as a keeper, we never uh, occupy the same space with the gorillas. They are very dangerous, they are very strong, um, and they have uh, very large teeth. Um, so kind of how we deal with that is uh, they go into a building at night um, so they are uh, locked in the building. We'll come out, we'll clean the exhibit, make sure it's safe for them to come out, we'll scatter food. Um, and then we have a whole checklist that we go through to make sure uh, we checked everything and everything's good for them. And then we will shift them out onto exhibit and then they are out here all day. Um, our exhibit is a little under two acres, so it is uh, fairly large. Um, we do have another group of gorillas. We have uh, two bachelor males. Um, they don't go with the females, so we just kind of rotate who's on exhibit every day. So the boys will be out tomorrow. Their names are Charlie and Curtis. You might have just heard uh, Charlie yell from the building. Um, so normally in the wild, um, there would be a silverback, which is just a term for a mature male gorilla. Um, and he would be in charge of the troop. And then the troop is made up um, of females um, and uh, juvenile males, uh, so ones that are not mature yet. Um, and then also in the wild, um, once the males do mature, they will either get kicked out by the silverback um, or they will go find their own troop um, themselves. Um, or sometimes they do form bachelor groups where it's just a bunch of boys uh, living together. Um, but if there's females involved, there's only ever one silverback. Um, right now, our silverback of this troop um, unfortunately passed away, um, so uh, it's just the girls for now. Um, these guys are part of what's called the Species Survival Plan. Um, because they are endangered, uh, what the uh, Species Survival Plan does is they will uh, keep track of genetics of all of the uh, captive gorillas and they um, uh, will recommend breeding pairs. Uh, to different zoos and institutions, so hopefully we will get a new silverback for our females at some point in the future. Um, usually they weigh um, about, the females are about 150 to 220. Uh, males can weigh uh, anywhere from 400 to 450, um, just depending on the individual. Um, and having said that, western lowland gorillas are actually the smallest subspecies of gorilla. Thank you so much. Uh, hopefully you guys can find some time to come visit the Kansas City Zoo and visit our gorillas. Have a great day.